Hi, this is Johnny. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Atari and uh, we are going to unbox the second one and do a firmware update which is a new one 1.3 and then we're going to test some game. Uh, so here is the second box. I got this one from eBay and I got it for $46 is an open box and when I mean open box mean this box is being open. Okay. So let me go ahead and turn that one off and unplug this. And I'm going to use the same power cable. And I'm going to test all the four controllers. So this is the original one and this is the, the old one. I mean, not the old one, the new one. Okay, so we are going to unbox it and see why this one is called the open box. Okay, so the box wasn't sealed. And when you open up, I noticed that right away there was a crack here. Okay, uh, the plastic cover is, is fine. Uh, and then it, it, also, it also came with the box. And in the box, let's see what's inside the box. What do we have inside the box? We got the menu and the certification paper. Okay, so it's official uh, from uh, my RK. And the reason I bought a second one is because I want a full controller. Because I noticed that when I test the full controller, the the wall wall lock, the first, second, the four, the third one for some reason have problem. It it uh it goes so quickly. Okay, so I want to know, as a lot of people is asking, can you play four player? And I say yes, you can. Uh, you could actually play a fighting game like I, I tried with uh, Michael Jackson with three three player at the same time. It worked just fine. Okay, so it does have a HDMI and it does come with two controllers. Okay, so it doesn't have a battery, so I need to put the battery in. And it look like they still have that seal sticker on because my oops, sorry, my I I left it on top. It originally was down here. No, I put the battery in here with it, my original from I didn't use the, the original battery, I used my own. So we're gonna put battery in here and a battery in here as well. Okay. And nothing wobble. Buttons seem to be okay. Alright. So we're gonna put the battery in and check this out. See if this controller the main reason I bought this was to get two more controllers. And I figure, you know, it's gonna cost if I was to go out and buy it, it's probably going to cost me about the same just to buy the controller. I don't know why there's a plastic, like burnt plastic. Okay. Now, this this thing is being apparently dropped from here to here. Maybe that's why the person returned it. Okay. Uh, the system seemed to be okay. It looked very clean. The plastic is still there. All right. So this is pretty gen genetic. Uh, uh, everything seemed to be all there. And then here's the power cable. Okay. So the only thing that was, I noticed that I didn't like was that the, the plastic was cracked from here all the way across and down. Okay. But everything else seemed to be good. It doesn't seem like it's a renewed product. You know how people like something is broken and then they, they have to, you know, Fix it, clean it, you know, make sure it's not dirty, but look like the plastic is still there. As you can see the plastic still there. And so I'm going to go ahead and power it on using this controller, using my original controller and see if it even power up. Okay. Now, before I power it up, I want to go ahead and update the firmware. So there's no SD card on it. So I'm just going to plug it in and see if it will power up okay and let's see where's my cable my power cable this one use usb-c okay i should have put that away all right here's my usb-c let's go ahead and power it up see if, if this thing does it even work Okay. And look like it's 
the guy's working. $46. Uh, that's including shipping and everything, you know. And look like it's okay. So, you could buy this from eBay and I'll give you the link. Uh, the guy sell this. I don't know where he get all his huh, uh, stuff, but it's all... And this one look like it had the, the newest, uh, newest version. Let's go to about. Let's see what version this one has. Uh, nothing about. Control view. Hmm. I thought you could go to like about. A. C, turn off the music. Uh, okay, B to get out. Uh, why doesn't let me do about? About doesn't seem to work. Music is all you could do. Okay, I'm sorry, it's right here. Version 1.2. So they did upgrade this to the latest version 1.2 when they returned this. But I guess the person who bought it said, I, I don't know, what's the, what's the reason for it? I'm not gonna guess. But yeah, it's 1.0, 1.2. So it does have the latest version. And so if I was to pop my OSD card, it should work the same. But I wanna go ahead and up, upgrade, update this to uh, to the four, the 1.3 and plus I want to test the four controller okay so I'm gonna go ahead and grab this two and put some bounty to it and then we are going to test four controller and see if it work so here is the other two so this is my two original this is the, the new one that I just got so I'm gonna put the controller and test it and we're gonna test the wall law see if if I have a problem with the third player, because I know I have problem with third player. So I'm going to test that before I upgrade to 1.3. And then, then after that, we're going to try to test, see if PlayStation 1 will work. Because I know, uh, I know Sega CD work and Sega game work, but PlayStation show up, but it doesn't play. So I'm going to see what we could do to see if they have upgrade to make PlayStation 1 work on or not. All right? All right. Okay, let's recap a little bit. I apologize. The the version that came with it, it is a 1.2. It, I did so many firmware updates, I got confused which one. But yeah, this one is still a 1.2. Uh, it's not a, the, the new version. Uh, four weeks ago, we did a 1.3 up, up, upgrade. Now, the good news is I have Oh, I I will be putting this on the webs on the, the video description. I went and uh, wrote this down and I used the iPhone to transfer to a text and then I went back and try to sort them and make sure the spelling is correct. Now it have 201 game from this console. They did not give you a list of what game that come with it. So there's five page of this and there's breakdown by Atari 2600, Atari 7800, and all that stuff. So, uh, so let me briefly just uh, give you the summarize of what exactly. Okay, this is the brief, the breakdown of what is actually there. So there's 82 Atari 2600, seven Atari uh, 5200 and 10 Atari 7800 and 38 plus arcade game. So roughly 138. And then you have something uh, like bonus uh, game where you got 8-bit game with 32 of them, 16-bit uh, 19 game, and then 12. Um, that's not plus, that's the add. Add this together. So you add it together, you get 63. So 63 plus the the standard game plus the bonus game, you get grand total of 201, okay? And there's a 100 multiplayer game uh, that you could play more than one per person. All right, so let's go back to this and I will put all this at the bottom of the, the video. 
But let me, uh, I apologize. I say this was a, a, the, the day updated. They did not, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and not put the SD card in. I'm just, well, I don't know. I'm thinking maybe I should so I could update my firmware. So let me pop the SD card out here. And I believe the firmware is in here already. So use my nail. Now, I do want to do I, I do want to do some tests before I do this, because uh, I want to prove to uh, this old version do not support FAT32, so you have to use EFACT. So the question I have now is, what happens if you buy an SD card 32 gig that is FAT32? How are you going to trans How are you going to format it to E EFACT? You can't. So I don't think you could. So then you have to use something bigger like 64 gig. Okay, so, but the good news is I was told uh, by a viewer that the new framework did fix it. So I want to bring that to your attention that FAT32 now is supported. So if you use 32 gig SD card, when you put it in, it will be recognized. But you do want to create a folder called games, uh, uppercase G and then games with an S, I believe. Then you just transfer everything over to the SD card. Then you create your own subfolder. Once you update to a new firmware, you could create like a, a PlayStation, not PlayStation, sorry. They don't, this one do not support PlayStation yet. Uh, hopefully in the future, maybe. But um, like Atari 2600, Atari 2600 plus the world paddle, where you're gonna put all your paddle game in there. All right, so let's go ahead and turn all this on. So let's go ahead and power this on. Let me make sure I know which one is which. This one is facing downward. This is my old one. And I need to be more consistent. So I won't get confused. Oh, this one is face upward. This is new. And this one face upward is new. So this two are new. And this one is the older one. So let me face this one down so I know this one is the older model. So I won't get confused because uh, I've been playing this for a, a month already. And I, in case I need to change the battery, I know that this one had the old battery. So this one is blinking. And um, let's go ahead and turn this one on. This one is turned off. So let's turn the power on. All right. So let's turn this one machine on first. This one is on because... Um, and this one is the new one. So I need to turn it on. And then there you go. So all four of them is on. Let's wiggle it. Okay. So they're all, they're all working. Oh, this one is not moving. This one is not doing nothing. This two. Okay. For some reason, this two are not doing anything. But this two is doing something. So that's interesting. All right. So let's go ahead and go to the, the game called Warlock. Uh, let's see if we go to the arcade. Okay, so this this is the bonus one that I was talking about, the eight bit and sixteen bit. Uh, see up there. Let me let me let's move to, to the main screen. And that's why the list is written down as a eight bit, sixteen bit arcade and multiplayer. And I think multiplayer had I didn't write down the multiplayer, but there's a hundred right here. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and then uh, there's 10, and there's 10, 20, 30. So what, how did I get 100? There's only 30 game. Yeah, there's only 30, I apologize. I mean, because I wrote it down on a piece of paper and I forgot, but there's only 30, okay? So if you go down, so you know, second, so that's a, another 10, so that's 20, and that's 30, that's it. Oh, it's not 30. It's 25 only. One, two, three, four, five. So multiplayer only have 25 game. All right. So those are the game they gave you. And then now you can't go up there unless you press B. So the old setup is you have to press B to go back on the top. But the new one, if you scroll all the way up to the top, the new framework, you, you go up to the top. Okay, so that's 8-bit, it's 16-bit, and 
16 bit have uh, there's 5, 10, 10, 11, 12. There's 12, there's 12 arcade games. So let me go grab that. So if you was to look right here, there is 12 arcade games, okay? And there is 19 of the, now the multiplayer, I, I they only got 15, so I need to fix that. So I, once I up, upload that information, I'll definitely give you the update information. I don't know how, why did I roll 100? I, I was curious, well, why did I? Okay, so let's press uh, B again. We're on a 16-bit. So 16-bit, you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, and then there's 10, and then missing one right here. So that's 19, okay? So I know it's so small, you can't really see it. So there would be a game list at the bottom, so you guys could, uh, could get that. All right, so let's go ahead and press B and let's press B again and go to the, the, the original game. Oh, okay. So we want to go to the 2600 and we're going to go to the Warlord and try the A controller. Now, I have a feeling that there might be a problem with that. Oh, this is a 2600. Okay, let me press, let me press B, B, and let's go to the RK, uh, the Warlock. Okay. Okay, let's try this one. All right. So we're going to press A. And we are going to test all the controllers, see if we could get all of them to move correctly because I have the problem last time. All right. Insert coin. Insert coin. Now I'm gonna try the third player. Third player cannot insert coin. I don't know why. Fourth player cannot insert a coin. Cannot insert the coin on the fourth player uh, at all. So let me zoom back out. Okay. So this two cannot insert coin. All right. Let me turn it off and turn it off. Now, that got me kind of wondering, do I have to plug in directly with the cable? I have a feeling that maybe the system does not recognize more than two Bluetooth. It should. You know, you assume that it, sh it should work. Let me turn it back on and see what happened. All right, let me press insert again. No, only recognize two player. Press star. So these two are dead in the water. Only these two could work. All right, so let's go ahead and plug this direct, this two directly in here, since there's two plug in the front, and see if we could get the four player to work with this controller. Okay, I got the third player working because of the uh, this cable right here. It's plug into, plug into this machine. See that right here, okay? This is third player, I press insert. Now, I, I use a converter because this is USB-A and this is USB-C and I need a USB-C-C. So I'm gonna plug this one into here, uh, like so. Okay, and then I'm gonna plug, now I have to turn this uh, Bluetooth off, then plug this in. Okay, now, I'm gonna go ahead and press insert. Now you see there's four credit, okay? Now, now we're gonna see if, okay, so we have uh, the player, and this is, I guess this is the first and second. Okay, let's bring this back down again. So this is first, second, and this is third. And then this is fourth. All right. So, all right. So we got one, two, three, four. I think this is one. Okay. So I'm going to press star. Press star. 
Oh, let's press A. A, okay, that's the one on top. A, this is the one on this one. This is the, and this is four, okay? Now, the one, the third one is always the one have, have problem with the, okay, so this third one is moving good, okay? Last time it was moving so fast, it was crazy, all right? So let's try the, the fourth one. It's moving good, it's moving good, it's not moving crazy, okay? Okay, let's go, oh, 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 hitting me. Okay, and let's try the first uh, first player. So the dialog is moving good, it's not moving like super fast like I did without a joystick, okay? And then the fourth one is moving good too. Okay, so yes, you could play four player with the controller, but two of them have to be wired and two of them is Bluetooth. So these two are Bluetooth, okay, Bluetooth. Blink, 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 Bluetooth. Why is this one blinking? This one's not blinking. Is that kind of weird, huh? Which one is the new one? This is the old one, this is the new one. New one's blinking, the old one. I mean, the old one's blinking, new one's not. How about this one? The old one's facing up. They both are solid. Now, why do they have so many uh, fireball now? I need to move the joystick to the... I can't figure out which one is which. <laughs> there you go. Oh crap. I'm only playing two player. This two I can't play because I can't, I don't have four hands. <laughs> Alright, so that answered the question. Uh there is no bug on it. It's just you have to have the white controller to play four player. So I proved myself that even with the older version that this one do not really have problem was because of my controller, okay? So you have to have two of them plug in and two of them Bluetooth. This thing only allow two Bluetooth, okay? So don't try to do all four Bluetooth. It will not work because I already tried before and two of them have to be plug in. It doesn't matter what controller you have. Two of them have to be plug in and two of them is Bluetooth. And that's how this system operates. So hopefully this information will help because it's something new that nobody talk about. And plus I will provide you this game list of all the game breakdown and all the game like uh, RK, here's all the RK12 game, okay? And I will have it on the, the video, in the video description so you guys could keep it, print it out, you know. Uh, so there's a lot of game that you could you could you could look through it and see what game, you know, if this is a machine you want because I really wish that they will give you this list because people want to know is hey is my favorite game in there but it doesn't matter because uh, you do have the C, uh, SD card support now it support both FAT32 and EFAT so you don't have to worry about it okay now. Don't hold my word on it. I was based on somebody told me that I don't have a SD card 32 gigs. Most of my SD card is one terabyte to 512. So I don't have a small terabyte FAT32 to test it. But uh, based on what the what somebody told me is supposed to, okay? But I, if I do find a 32 and I test it before I post this video, I will tell you in the bottom say, yes, I did test it, it does work or not. But if I don't say nothing, that means I did not test it, all right? Thank you for watching. Hopefully this helped. And uh, there is uh, actually uh, Mrs. Patman. Uh, they sent me an email, Mrs. Patman, uh, from my arcade that they released. They released uh, uh, Mrs. Patman Pro, and then uh, I think they call it the Mini, and then there's a handheld. There's three version of the the first one. I remember the screen is 2.9. The second one, the screen is 2.4. And then the third one, I don't remember what's, I think it's also uh, 2.4 because I remember John was talking about his uh, his video that these two are the same size of the 
but then now they have a bigger one is 2.9 so they are actually um, on, uh, on sale that you could actually buy they send me an email to notify me all right that, I just want to share that information to you as well but since I'm using my phone to record I cannot show you what I'm talking about from my email but go ahead and go to my RK, you will see what I'm talking about. All right, later.